Hello, welcome back to Harga. Today I'm going to show you around this festival setting. It is midsummer and also midsummer. Over here, I recreated the May Queen tradition, which I will show you more on the other side because I've checked myself in. These represent all the different ladies, the potential queens, so to speak. I downloaded all of these QR codes from Pinterest. I, of course, am wearing the May Queen regalia. Okay, this is the table setup, not um, after Danny is crowned May Queen. This is just the setup for where they ate every day. Let me give you a bird's eye view here. It was really difficult trying to design in the pattern of the movie because you can only design by grids, right? So it does look a little wonky, but I think it gets the message across. Just some simple tablecloths with the table setting in white. This is not seen in the movie, but I would imagine uh, it exists somewhere in, in Midsommar. Okay, over here is the barn. And I couldn't find any Midsommar patterns for the barn. I, I could have made a profile and used the tent to act as the barn. But I didn't want an extra profile on there, and it just seemed like a lot of work. And, uh, <laughs> which, in hindsight, this was probably more work. So I made the panels. I'm very proud of the ones in the back there. This is the design that's in the barn in the movie. And there's also some hay bales in there and a gesture, just jester's cap and a little bonfire um i wish i had a bear costume i only have the head and paws so that's kind of a downer but and yeah we got some tiki torches out here just trying to invoke fire you feel me just a barn about to go up in flames um oh so over here <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that later. So I made an empty spot here for me to fit in for photo taking purposes. And I especially love this view on a bright summer day because it just really, it feels like summer, you know? And you have impeding doom in the background there. Let's go talk about that area, shall we? So I'm going to put a trigger warning here. This is the suicide cliff scene. And I decided to recreate this because I am a horror enthusiast. I Horror movies are my favorite genre. I obviously recreated Midsommar for a reason. It's a very good movie. Um... And I have yet to see this scene in particular recreated, so I wanted to try. But I would like to put the trigger warning there, so there's that. And up here, I thought the stone tablet worked. Is it called a tablet? <laughs> Age of electronics, I'm not sure if it's the same thing. Um, looked perfect up here. And this is just a... I think this is actually <laughs> um, Sophie's dress that I used from Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah. This one right here. I don't know. And then back here, I tried really hard to... The barn is the foreground of, you know, trees and hills of foliage and so I tried really hard 
to replicate that here. It's a cliffside with a row of trees, bushes, and the hedge fence. And then duplicate it again down here. And from far away, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, so that was my recreation of Midsommar. I did the, th I did three different scenes. The, well, I guess four. The May Queen dance, the table setting, the barn, and the cliffs. Let me know your thoughts. Which one is your favorite? And let me know if you also love horror movies. What's your favorite horror movie? I'm always uh, looking for something new. So. I hope you'll join me at the dinner table. I'll see you in the next one.